Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to High Off Blue Hour and in this video we are going to take a look at a relatively easy way to create a blowing autumn leaves effect in DaVinci Resolve. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this autumn image in our media pool and we're going to drag it into our timeline. And this is just a still autumn style picture out of Mid Journey. And then we're going to highlight it and then we're going to go into Fusion. And so here we are in Fusion, and again, this is going to be very similar to some of the other particle template videos that I've done in the past. So here in Fusion, we have our media in one right here, and this is our image. This is our background image. This is our autumn picture, and I'll actually go ahead and just rename it. We'll just call it autumn image. Hit OK. And then that is going into our media out right here. And so as I've said before, uh, but if you haven't, maybe haven't seen a template video of mine uh, in the past, uh, bears, it bears repeating. The media out is necessary. Everything that you're creating in Fusion, it has to eventually go into the media out so that it can basically reach the timeline so that you can then export it and get your final product. So it's the media out is necessary. So we're going to have our autumn image going into our media out. And then what we want to do is we want to go up here to effects and click that. And then we're going to go down to where it says templates. We're going to click the drop down arrow for that and go down to where it says fusion. Click that and then go down to where it says particles and click that. And so now over here to the right, we have our particle templates. And if like again, if you've seen some of the other videos, you've kind of seen this section before so this is just where various templates involving particles are and what we're going to mess around with is this blowing leaves template right here and so to bring it into our work workspace all we have to do is just click it and boom it pops up down here you can move it around and you see what the template the the different uh nodes and kind of uh pieces that the template is made of you got the p emitter P directional, P turbulence, vortex, P renderer, camera 3D, merge 3D, renderer 3D. All of these make up the blowing leaves template. So all we have to do is connect our image and our media out to this template to kind of get everything active. So what we're going to do is disconnect our autumn image from the media out node. So we're just going to double click the line to separate it. And then we're going to take our autumn image node and we're going to have that connect to this pink triangle right here that's on the bottom of the camera 3D node. And once you connect it to this pink triangle, it's that the pink triangle is actually going to move to the back of this node right here where the yellow node is actually positioned. So just connect autumn image to the pink triangle and boom, it, it, it attaches and moves to the back. And then with the media out node, what you want this to be attached to is you want the renderer 3D node here that's on the front of this template. You want that to go into the media out like that. So now you can see once everything is linked up, you see the picture shows back up on our right side viewer here. And then if we actually press play, let me uh, make sure my proxies are... in order all right so once we press play we're going to start to see what the default blowing leaves animation is so we'll press play and it is kind of uh you know it's going kind of slow a little bit but you do see it building up you see these blowing leaves coming into the frame i also want to reiterate this is not a this is just so that we have a background this is not kind of a perfect composition so keep that in mind. This is just to show the effect of the template. Uh, in the final render, the leaves would obviously be moving a lot more fluid. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop it, though. And obviously, these leaves, you could say so a lot of the color doesn't match up with the color in the picture. A lot of these leaves are green and kind of don't really seem like they don't belong with the rest of these leaves. The leaves in the actual picture have a very golden color to them so we, we can actually change 
the color of our leaves in this template or at least pick leaves that have a different color so to do that what you would do is you would go to this node right here that says p emitter click it to highlight it and then you'd go over here in the inspector tab and you have all of uh, the different kind of parameters and things that you can adjust for that p emitter node and what we want to go to is this section right here where it says style we're going to click that and then we're going to go down here in this style section we're going to go down here to where it says brush and right now the brush selection is leaf gold a we're going to click this drop down arrow for the brush and you have a lot more options for brushes you want to scroll down to where you start to see the leaf option so you have leaf gold a leaf gold b so on and so forth and then you also have leaf red a red b so on and so forth and so you these are some of the options so let's go ahead and take a look at what some of these look like so you can kind of see some of the different uh, options so this is what leaf gold F looks like let's take a look at some red leaves so this is leaf red a and so obviously it's a um, lot more of a kind of red very dark uh, bold red look Let's take a look at some more red leaves. Leaf red B right here. Slightly different. Let's look at leaf red C. Okay, so this is a, obviously a lot more of a golden color. From a color perspective, this matches up a lot better with the leaves in the picture. Let's see it slightly in motion. So we could work with this maybe. But anyways, I'm not going to go through all the different leaf options, but you see what I'm kind of talking about in terms of if you can alter the look of the leaves to kind of more match whatever setting you're going for. So this is I'm going to also I'm going to also have a few kind of fully rendered uh, video clips of this template in full motion. So you can make so to make sure you get a good look at what it actually looks like in motion. But this is it. You know, you can this is more so just to show you the kind of just the simple way of bringing the template into play and then you can do with it do with it what you want in terms of customization and doing things to your liking resizing things moving positions around in terms of how much area the template covers all of those type of things so essentially you just bring the template in and attach your image and your media out to the proper nodes and uh there you have it so very easy way to just kind of bring in a blowing autumn leaf effect into your your project so that is the video you guys catch you on the next one